guys. All right, so they released the Real Housewives of Miami season five trailer. They released it at BravoCon, and unfortunately, as you can see, that I am not there. I told this on my Instagram story. I'm gonna tell you guys, I had all intentions of not really going to BravoCon. I actually had plans to go out of town this weekend, and then when those plans fell through, I tried to get tickets to BravoCon, and then it was all sold out. The only tickets were available were Sunday, was today. On top of that, I don't like crowds because someone's always destined to have a bomb or a gun with them in large group of crowds and that's my phobia nowadays I don't do crowds never have and never will but I have had a lot of FOMO FOMO from watching it when I brought Bravacon this year so next year I will plan to go and I kind of am like nervous of saying that I am gonna go next year because I know it's gonna be 10 times more crowded than it is this year so but yeah the Bravacon they released the trailer for the Real Housewives of Miami season 5 and you know what this reboot season 4 was awesome it was really really good I actually um I thought that the show never should have been canceled in the first place and I think a lot of people said the same thing so I'm happy that they brought the show back I'm not really feeling or I wasn't feeling um the lesbian whatever her name was I don't know why she's still on the show um but I wasn't feeling her she can go lick a cootie cat in the corner lick Adriana's cootie cat since that's who she seems to be interested in the most more than her own fucking wife. But um, everyone else, I'm happy to see back except for the lesbian. All right, guys, let's watch this trailer. I'm so excited. I don't know if my marriage is going to survive. Is there anybody else involved? See you next year. Ladies, dating is not going to work. Ladies, dating her now. He's dating her. I forgot about that. Her husband left her for someone else. And I know the person. My husband's a top plastic surgeon in this town, and I'm his best creation. Olivia, oh, not the tagline. Everyone <laughs> loves to underestimate me, and I love to prove everyone wrong. My husband built the perfect wife, and Ooh. I built the perfect life. They so shady. All her taglines were about her husband. So bad for her. My life changed. I'm losing my best friend, losing my husband mm. to another woman. Nicole, shove it up. She's, this season on the Real Housewives of Miami. Why is that lesbian there? She has no reason to be there. I put the raspberry. Yeah, Nicole. It's the birthday girl. Just like the one you girls have. The difference is, I bought mine. This is like the best representation of Miami that there is. Who's done this thing? Is that a person? Oh, a Birkin. Ooh. Travel in style, darling. Yeah. Welcome to Mahabar. Celebration. Yeah. Oh, is that a bird? All this. Oh, I'm <laughs> Oh? You should apologize for this slander. Slander, slander. I'm done talking. You sit out. Should I bring out a little violin? All right, all right. You're so pathetic. I'm on my word. Oh, not these scenes again. Don't judge. Don't judge me. It's not even fun. It wasn't funny the first time. Any girl dated all said the same thing. You're very difficult. Your dad is perfect, and the bad one is me. Her son looks like a killer. Sometimes you're mean to me. You are. No, I'm not mean. What is what is missing? You shut down at night. I shut down at night. Someone called me a nigga while told me you were making out with a man. What? And she took a photo of me. When is this gonna stop? Oh, come on, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm done, okay? I'm done. Oh, my daughter sure looks like me, by the way. Because when he has him training the mistress. Oh, damn. Oh. What? We are fighting now. That's fucked up. I know you want to make it work. I know <gasps> you want to see you guys get back together. That's not going to happen. <gasps> you bring that girl anywhere near my kids, there's going to be a huge problem. Do you understand me? Oh, I feel bad for Lisa. And, 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 they so shady for because all her taglines were about her and her marriage and her love for her husband. Um, I do feel bad for Lisa. However, there has been rumors that he's been cheating on her for years. And I think last year, let me put my cup down. I think last year when they came back uh, for season um four, for season four, 
she said that they were separated for years because he was having an affair with somebody. And you know who that person was? Do you remember Bad Girls Club season five, Miami, Morgan? The rumor was that he was having an affair with Morgan from Bad Girls Club for all those years. That was a girl he was having an affair with. Um, I don't know if that's the same girl that he actually, no, he posted a new picture months ago when they first announced their separation. He posted a picture with this female, but Lenny moved on. I don't know why people are even into him. Well, because of his money, because he's not attractive. His head looks like the head from Buzz Lightyear. Like, doesn't it look like a Jimmy Neutron type of head? Like his head, he's not cute to me. Um, he had like a lot of Botox. He had a lot, he's just not cute. Um, they're just only interested in his money. And I'm pretty sure that his dick looks like a, pink, a pinky. I, I can't imagine him having a nice size dick. I really can't. If he has a helmet shaped head, then I'm sure he has a, like a, a, a limp penis <laughs> in the words of Adriana. <laughs> um, Leah is back. That really took me by surprise. She was asked to come back to the series and she didn't want to come back for season four for the reboot. So I'm really shocked to see her back on the show. I loved me some Leah on season two and three. Like that old woman did not let these young girls like test her patience. She put them all in check. You know, I also like the model. What was her name? Yolanda? What's her? Remember the model? I think her name was Yolanda um, from season two and three. The one who was fighting with um, Adriana. She's also divorced from her husband. But I would like to see her come back too because I liked her as well. Alexia, yeah, her son looks like, a, like I feel like he's like a, like a murderer in The Happening. Like he reminds me so much of Jeffrey Dahmer, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger. I, he just gives me a monster vibe, doesn't he? Like, it just scares me. Every time, like, I see him filming or see a scene with him, I'm like, yeah, he's about to commit a murder right after the scene. He just seems so sketchy and so off. And he just seems so weird. Um, but I like um, Lars Larsa. Larsa? Is her name Larsa? I like her. I'm happy um, that we're getting to know her. Um, who else is on the show? Oh, I don't like the lesbian. Um, I like the doctor. I like the other black chick. Um, I don't know why Adriana and Marisol is, oh, Marisol, those little drinking scenes, these little, <laughs> they're not cute. It was cute like 10 years ago. They're not cute anymore. And they overly did it last season. And I don't really, I don't want to see that this season. Like it wasn't funny the first time. It got really annoying. And then she did it at the reunion, but I don't know why her and Adriana are not full time. Um, not that it matters because I'm sure they're going to still be on camera full time. But, you know, I like to support my girls. I like to see them holding an apple um, or whatever, a flamingo. Um, and, I, and I'm happy that they actually are giving Kiki more of a role because Kiki was funny last season too. All right, so I'm actually going to be watching this season. I'm looking forward to it. Um, season five begins December 8th, and we're actually getting four episodes December 8th. Can you believe it? Four fucking episodes. And the whole entire season is going to be 16 episodes. You know what I like about Peacock, too? That they don't show us trailer for next week's episode. So you're actually walking into the episode blindly, not knowing what to expect. And I actually like the fact that they do that. It's really like it, it makes the show, the episode, a lot better because you don't know what you're going to expect. All right, so The Real Housewives of Miami season five begins to stream on Peacock on December 8th. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And while you're on my page, check out my other videos and let me know if you agree or disagree with anything that I said. And down below in the description area under More Marcus, I put my Instagram and Twitter information. So go follow me, guys. That way you can send me a DM for any video questions you have for me. I can't wait to talk to you all again. Mwah. Try on all your nights like this